Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number one. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're going to get uh, cracking on with this uh, career mode now. Uh, home region determines the availability, starting cost, and rarity of the cars in your career. Uh, home region does not affect which tracks are available. Lovely jubbly. Uh, so we're going to go for Europe. Europe is the best location for us. Um, and we're going to take the Audi TT Coupe. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I don't care. Uh, saving profile. Uh, we're going to go down here, set our difficulty quickly. Uh, we're going to make sure that shifting is set to manual. Um, that's sort of the bare... The sort of rule for this entire series is we're going to do it all in uh, manual shifting. So and we're going to go race. We're going to get tips like crazy. Uh, and for today, we're going to start off with all of these in the uh, the Europe, Asia, North American Open. And then move on to some of the specific drivetrain events. So uh, let's get started with Europe. And we're going to drive Silverstone first, Maple Valley, and then Alpine Ring next. All right, let's uh, get going. We are in the Audi TT at the moment, um, and yeah, let's do it. We're in a horrible beige brown color though. Not very nice. Uh, oh, my shifting is all messed up. I don't like my controller layout. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, there we go. First corner. Oh, bit of understeer there. Not too bad. Yeah, for an original Xbox game, it's not too bad looking, actually. Car behind is uh, 0.8 second. Very nice. Don't forget, guys, we're going to be uh, live streaming this on Twitch and also recording for the YouTube series as well. So uh, if you're watching on Twitch and you're not subbed on YouTube, what are you doing? <laughs> and if you're uh, vice versa, if you're on YouTube and not over here on Twitch, what are you doing? <laughs> I would never recommend bringing any form of firearms into a public place, <laughs> whether it's a Nerf gun or not. <laughs> okay. It's looking good. Looking good. Siemens! <laughs> We got two and a half second lead so far, so uh, not too bad. Oh, understeering a tiny bit. Oh, we've gone off the track as well. Not ideal, but by the looks of it, we've got the position at least. The game is extremely quiet for me, but I know it's very loud on the recording, so. That's not too bad, at least. Uh, so we've got 3,400 credits. Um, this game actually does leveling up a little bit different to uh, other Forza games. It's done based off of the amount of credits that you've earned. So uh, We've got a relationship with Pirelli now. So why rated tyres for all cars are 10% off in the upgrade shop? All right, we are here at Maple Valley Raceway. Um, starting front of the grid, as always. I think that's like a common pattern. If your car starts at the front of the grid, it's pretty much the front for the rest of the series. Which I mean is not bad. I'm not complaining about that. I like to be at the front of every single race. Lap numero uno of three. Maple Valley is one of those cool tracks as well because 
If I'm not mistaken, it's been in every single Forza game. I can't vouch for Forza 2, but I can definitely vouch for 3 and 4 that it's in there. Um, and then also 7. 5 and 6, it's been so long since I played 5 and 6 that... And I didn't play them much. Uh, I really cannot remember them, so... Got them 2D trees, I know. The trees are very um, two-dimensional in this game. But to be honest, for a game in 2005... Uh, it's, it's, it's not a great-looking game, I'll be honest, for a 2005 game. But I'm making a comparison from Forza Motorsport from 2005 being the first-ever Forza game to the first-ever chance for these developers to prove themselves... And comparing that to a franchise that was out for nearly eight years beforehand being Gran Turismo 4. And Gran Turismo 4 was visually stunning. So for the for a first attempt from Forza, this is a very good good attempt. Here we go, lap number three though. Love the job there, lads. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know why, but OBS always shows the mic as being very loud. Um, but when I get into a editing software, it's just an extremely quiet audio. But it's just always peaking on OBS. It's very strange. Hopefully, though, the mic audio should be bit better and there we go that is a uh, very nice first win there and in fact oh i'll take it uh we've got a relationship with brembo brakes now so should get a discount on that first uh brake package all righty yo let's do this alpine ring not bad Beep. Beep, lee, 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 lee. Oh, ship. I forgot the, sh uh, the shift is on a... Oh, I sneezed. Charming. I'm going to get so thrown off guard with shifting in this game. It's unreal. This is the only one you can't really uh, modify it as well. Most of all, too, you, uh, and upwards, you can change the um, how the shifting works and all that. Never got breaks, always having to practice. That's not not ideal. You need to have a break every so often. Like, I couldn't imagine sitting down and streaming non-stop for, like, three weeks without a little bit of a break. Time to myself, you know. Maybe if it was more like a job and I was getting paid for it, like a reasonable amount, I might feel differently about that, but I don't know, it's it's still very much a hobby for me, streaming, YouTube and all that stuff, to the point that I'm not too I'm, I'm not fussed about the money, I'm more fussed about making entertainment and stuff like that for people, so kicked it because it was a final and didn't show up <laughs> Yeah, that's not ideal. I can see why they kicked you, though, if for something like that. Like, not showing up for practice is fine. If it was every now and then. But for a final, hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, if you, if you weren't wanting to turn up, there was clearly that bond between you and your overwatch team clearly wasn't there so probably is for the best that you left the team anyways in all honesty not bad i mean when these things happen it's not always a uh, a bad thing as for why they happen
Oh. Very nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes tests are more important than stuff. <laughs> yeah, tests are more important than gaming. There you go, very nice uh, finish there. Three minutes and nine seconds. I'm going to uh, save that replay just in case we need it. For uh, thumbnails and the likes. We got ourselves uh, 10 grand, I think, from that. So, not too bad. We got the uh, Toyota AE86 Sprinter. And we're going to have to drive that for the next next uh, championship. We're now uh, going to get cracking on with the uh, next championship. This is the uh, Asian Open. And we're taking the AE86 GT Apex. We got Tsukuba Circuit first, Maple Valley second, and then Tokyo Circuit third. All right, here we go. So we are around Tsukuba Circuit now. We're in the Tru Truino. Oh, not ideal, but it slowed them down. Just for context, uh, anyone watching on YouTube, I actually have already recorded this before. I actually recorded it yesterday. But uh, very kind of gutted because um, all of the audio was all crackly and everything. So we've had to re-record it, but if I get on with it today, we can then crack on tomorrow and continue tomorrow. So after we beat my ex-team. Hey, well, it, at least you beat them and showed them that you were still decent. Their loss at the end of the day, not yours. I'm going to have to record an outro line. I've just realised that. It's going to be the first time I've recorded an outro line in about a year and a half. I'm going to have lost my edge, though, so I'm going to have to try hard to actually get a good good outro. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment below, and subscribe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lovely jubbly. Oh, I'm revving the arse off the engine here. Not ideal. I still haven't decided whether we're going to get um, music going over the videos yet. I know we've definitely got music on the stream because I'm listening to it right now. But uh, whether we've got on the videos is a uh, whole nother question. If you are in uh, Twitch chat right now, you should be able to type exclamation mark uh, YouTube or YT exclamation mark YT and you should be able to get my uh, YouTube link if you want to subscribe and watch these videos later you're more than welcome to oh there we go very nice finish there got three and a half grand for that and we're level three 
But you've established a relationship with OMP Racing, modified intake and exhaust upgrades for European cars are 10% off in the upgrade shop. Here we go, starting at the front of the grid again. We're going back around um, Maple Valley again. I also forgot to mention in the last clip, um, if any of you are watching on YouTube as well, uh, you should be able to type exclamation mark Twitch in the premiere chat of the videos. Or uh, look in the description and there should be a Twitch link there. So if you want to come and see these live, um, you are more than welcome to. Oh, a little bit of curb there on the corner. We've got some good drum and bass tracks going on today. Very nice. A little bit of slide. Very good. We're sitting at uh, 826 followers on uh, Twitch at the moment. We're trying to aim for hopefully a thousand. Awesome, Magma. I appreciate you. Oh. Yo! Hello there. <laughs> Hello. We have just been raided. What is that? Lush bun with a raid of 13 people. Thank you very much. That's going to be recorded for history in YouTube. <laughs> Lush, thank you so much for that raid. 13 people. Man. Thank you very much. How are you today? How was your stream? I'm doing very good, Lush. I'm doing very good. Thank you very much. And uh, that is Maple Valley completed. With the uh, AE86. Lovely jubbly. I'm actually going to save that recording there. And uh, level four. We've established a relationship with Kony. Modified suspension upgrades for European cars are 10% off in the upgrade shop. Here we go. We're going around Tokyo now. Oh, more notifications. Cheers, phone. Oh, wrong button. What magma? I see an OMFG in the chat. I am very concerned. <laughs> One year younger than this game. Man. That's uh that's impressive. <laughs> this game, um I never actually played this game as a kid. I think the first game that I actually played of the Forza series was Motorsport 3. So that would have been 2009. Um, but it is going to be fun. I have finished this game on a previous attempt trying to play through every single Forza game. Oh, here's the bot messages. <laughs> We're welcoming many new people. <laughs> Happens every raid. <laughs> Seven so far. Eight. Nine. <laughs> That's crazy. That was ten new people. Unbelievable. Well, uh, welcome raiders. Welcome raiders. Welcome everyone. Oh. There we go. Lovely. Getting through that chicane there. Thirteen people though. That's crazy. Oh, my little uh, button on uh, my... Stream deck thing has just come up with eight viewers. Pretty nice. Lovely. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> uh, first game I ever played was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Ah, oh, have I told... 
I don't think I've told this on stream. So I had a pain in the ass. I got my money back. So it's all good. But uh, I bought a physical copy of Call of Duty. Now, I will admit, this is my own fault for not doing research on it. But uh, I didn't realise physical gaming for PC was so scummy. Um, because... Whenever you buy a physical game for Xbox or PlayStation or whatever, you put the disc in, you're given the license for the game. No questions asked. Um, but recently I bought a copy of Driver San Francisco and a copy of um, Call of Duty. And now both of these are physical games that you download from the disc, but still require a key for a launcher. So that way you can't actually resell the game, which should be highly illegal. Like, to make someone who's bought a physical copy of a video game and not allow them to hand them on. and Because that's what physical games are for. You hand them on to a friend and they can then enjoy the game. It's not like, oh, you're not selling extra copies of the game especially for a for a game that isn't really on sale that much anymore uh i went to ebay and said this thing's defective it's not as advertised i got my money back for call of duty and um but i had a right old argument with ubisoft about um last time i gave someone my game it dips oh no that's not good yeah, I went to Ubisoft and um, argued to them about it and said, um, I've bought this game and it's not working. Can I get a new key for it? And they were going through the questions. Uh, oh, AE86 GT. There we go. First place. Lovely. I think that's actually this um, event done as well. And we got the Integra Type R. So uh, I think I'm going to just take that Integra and go straight for the next event, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's go uh, North America. We'll take the uh, Integra. This one's a D1 rated, so should be all right. Um, we're going to start off with New York, Road Atlanta, and then Mazda Laguna Seca. So let's get started. All right, so we've got the PT Cruiser and Eagle Talons. Lovely. We're starting fourth. Don't know if that's good or bad. Um, yeah, where were we? So I, I, I spoke to the Ubisoft representative and said, hang on, can I not get another key because this game isn't being used by the old account? And the bloke was like, well, this is locked to an account. This is locked to a Ubisoft account. And I was like, yeah, but can't you disable it on that account and then issue a new key? And that way that account doesn't then have access to it. And he was like, no, because once it's assigned to an account, we can't do anything. Yes, you can. You're just stupid. Uh, I didn't say that. I wanted to. Um, and so, yeah, we went to... Kept going back and forth. And I literally said, well, I've bought a physical copy, so why can I not play the game like Xbox or PlayStation? It was like... His, his reasoning was like, oh, PlayStation and Xbox, they need to work on those platforms. So that's why you can just plug them in and it works. Well, then why can't I do the same on PC? Why can PC not get the same treatment as Xbox and PlayStation? PC's exactly the same. I want a disc to go in and I want it to work. Well, that's not how our policy works. I said, well, why can't... Why can someone not resell the game and then use it? That doesn't seem very fair. And his response was, Oh, we don't allow for reselling of games. Well, that's fucking dumb. Honestly, I, like, I lost all respect for Ubisoft after that entire conversation. I had it in my Advanced Warfare hard case because I couldn't find the original box. Oh yeah, that's not a... Uh, not ideal. So you had Advanced Warfare, Detroit Become Human, and Devil May Cry 4 in one case. That's a, that must have been a bulky case.
But uh, I, I got the money back for the... Um, what's it called? Driver San Francisco. So I'm all good. Oh dear. Yeah, that ki that kind of thing after that probably wouldn't ever come back. Realistically. Uh okay, nice. We got a good finish there. I'm going to save that replay just in case we use that for thumbnails. We got three and a half grand. We're up to level five now. Uh, you've established a relationship with North American manufacturer Acura. There are new cars available in the Acura dealership. In addition, Acura has sent you a 2004 NSX. Woohoo. Can I see this NSX? Because it is a beautiful car. There it is. What a beautiful beast. Hopefully, we can actually use that in uh, one of the future championships. Right, let's do this. Uh, we're on uh, Road Atlanta now. I think this is the first ra Road Atlanta race in the uh, walkthrough, so... Not too shabby. To think tomorrow is my last day as a 19 year old. Kind of shocking. Because the day after tomorrow, I'm going to be two decades old. I hate that thought. Oh! That was not very nice of you, sir. It is. It is a police badge on my shirt. <laughs> this is a, um old t-shirt that I had lying around, so I just wore it. I don't really wear it out and about, so. One weird thing about this game, I don't know if you actually could visually see it then, but uh, this car, or not this car, this track, if you, when you go over the um, chicane section, the like double chicane, uh, the game lags. It just straight up lags. There's no reason for it. It just does it. Kind of sucks. Tomorrow's your birthday. Uh, tomorrow's not my birthday. The day after is. So, tomorrow is the last day of being... Uh, 19. And the day after that, 20s. Do you know what's really weird about this track? Is it's got two, like, pit boxes. It has that pit box area on the inside, and then it, one on the outside. Hey, I appreciate it, Magua. Thank you very much for the uh, birthday wishes. I've actually got the um, start of this series, or the introduction video to this Massive Forza series is coming out on my birthday, so... That's going to be coming out on YouTube, though, so... What was that I did with my head? <laughs> did I just get a notification message? Ooh, get back on the road. Is that damage on the... Uh... Yeah, that's quite a substantial amount of damage on the side of my car there. Not ideal in the slightest. Yeah, I might actually try and just edit this at 30 frames a second because there's no way in hell. Don't spend your birthday editing. Uh, I won't be editing. It's already done. <laughs> I'll have a day off on my birthday. There we go. 3,400 credits. We're now at uh, 28,000 earned total. Very nice. All right, let's do this. Laguna Seca. I do like this track, actually. It's quite a... um. It's a challenge going through the corkscrew, that's for sure. Hey, no worries, Magma. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by, though. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Let's get some uh, drafting going on here. Uh, if you look on the actual speedo... You can see that the up-down arrow with a square between it, that is drafting. So that means you're getting a slipstream from the car in front of you. 
the little exclamation mark triangle is um what's it called um telling you that you're at your like rev limiter and that Ooh. and the other one is your handbrake obviously that did not go so well for us the adhd in me is going mental zone out zone in <laughs> that happens all the time This has gone really bad so far. If I can't actually catch up and I don't come first, I have to redo it again. And what's really bad is my headphones I actually have about a one second delay. So when I shift, it's only about a second later I actually hear the change. Which isn't ideal, that's for sure. Right, we've got 2.4 second deficit. There you go, Magma, there was a bit of a slide there. Now, but see, you're like that good, so you're gonna make it. Ah, oh, cheers for that, Magma. <laughs> well, I uh, hopefully I've caught up, but I've caught up with half of the track. I've only got ha the other half to now overtake him, and the overtaking is the challenging part. But hopefully, we should still be fine. I'm sort of like multitasking here as well. I'm like trying to drive as well as possible, but also keeping an eye on my audio levels. If my recording is still streaming and recording, all that stuff. Ooh, this is so tight. Oh my. God, I nearly lost it there. That would have been uh, embarrassing and horrendous and horrible and depressing and sad. <laughs> we got it though. So it is all good. It's actually kind of surprising that those cars behind are rated higher than this car. So kind of surprised that it was that easy to catch up. Three and a half grand, lovely. We're getting very close to that level six margin, but not quite there. So um, I think that'll probably end up being like a next episode thing. So, uh, but yeah, we got the uh, Lancia Delta Integrale. Lovely car. I actually really like this car. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.